Cause your gal is out of town That's the time you're getting me running And you know I'll be around I'm a fool to do your dirty work Oh yeah I don't wanna do your dirty work No more I'm a fool to do your dirty work Oh yeah Hey, Mary Ellen, hi. Look along. This is my Meyer Lemons. You have sent the maid home morning. Like a thousand times before. Like the castle. Mary Ellen, do you feel like being on camera? I'd love to see you. I miss you too. Maybe you left also. Well, it is Wednesday, June 24th, and I am here, 11, 11 with Jenna. Good morning, Jeff Metzger. How are you, sir? How is brunch? Got a lot going on. So many things to do. Things to plant, things to harvest, my lettuce. I'm excited. <sighs> Yeah, I was just listening to, I hadn't heard this in a while. I, hadn't, I forgot. Uh, I'm a fool to do cookie Remastered Dirty Work. Dirty work. Oh, yeah. And it sounds really cool. There's I don't wanna do your dirty work. No more. I'm a fool to do your dirty work. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's not it. There's another one. Check it out. After Paul McCandless' solo. Thank you, Paul McCandless. James Genus on bass. John Mater on drums. Matt Rawlings. Right here. We had fun. Speaking of fun, last night was fun with Big Mo. Maurice. Some people call me Maurice. Woo -woo. And tonight, Coquelico. And tomorrow night, Corona Roki International Limited. Come on. Tell your friends. You don't have to be a singer. You can, you can. Hi, Chris. Wow, long time. How are you? Come on. Corona Roki, it's getting fun. It's gonna be if 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 what happens tomorrow night, if if what's supposed to happen tomorrow night happens. Wow. Just what that bird said. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hi Virginia. Larry Kohut. Oh my goodness gracious. One of the greatest bass players in the world. Hi, how are you? So Chicago, let's see, we have Illinois, Oregon. I don't see any New York on here. Michigan, California, Oregon, Illinois, Colorado. Yeah, but tonight, Coquelico, Gilan will be here. Willie will talk crystals and healing and immune boosting ideas. And we just, we kind of dive deep into other places. Do we loose? Loose. You have two more days? Oops, why do I do that? I can't. Oh, I know what I did. My screen needs to flip. Good morning. I love this bird. She's there every morning. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Our 
Aren't you guys glad you're here? So I hope you have a great day. Wow, Larry Kohut, how are you? Let's play some music. I'm around. I'm in Michigan. I would love that. Virginia, it was great to see you yesterday. I hope the pizza was... My mom loved her pizza. I was out. I was the pizza delivery girl yesterday. Anytime. You need anything? If I'm here, I got your back. Hi, Sandy. So, yeah. Tonight, Coakley Co. Tomorrow night, Corona Rocky. And Friday night... And Saturday night, oh, Saturday night, Melanie Demore is going to be here. Hi, Mama. Thank you. I love my Mama so much. Cordelia, Cordelia. Oh, we have Michigan, we have England. Um, Saturday night, Melanie Demore. Usually it's one more Saturday night with Gary Lambert. He's taking a, a break. But Friday night, I'm not sure yet. I have to go through my my mental Rolodex. But today is Wednesday. I got my tea. Mama Grace, it's cool. Lillian Pearl's in the window. She'll soon be walking back to either her couch or her bed. And then we go for a walk to the beach. After I make my smoothie. I haven't made my smoothie yet. I've just had hot water with lemon. No Meyer lemons, though. Wow. Mama Grace is adorable. This is true. Maybe she's going to sing tomorrow night. I don't know. It's getting... It's, it's going to be good. I have to practice my applause. So, on that note, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, whimsical Wednesday. I say? 11 11 with Jenna. Why don't we do three ohms? How about we do some yoga next time? Would you guys do that in the morning with me? If I did some yoga, would you do? I know, I know Jeff does, but we could do just some soft movement. I have some clients that I hang out with on Zoom and we just do some softer movements, you know, like circuits and stuff. Hi, Mitch Boozer. Hi, Kimberly K. Salent. I was just going to say goodbye and now you show up. Bernita. Hey, Mama Grace and Lillian and I are going to come by today. What's your schedule? I have to plant my little plant. I'll bring the plant and we'll pick out the planter. Is that cool? Call me. Call me. Call me. Okay. I got a lot to do. You have a lot to do. Oh, good. That's a yes. Yay, we get to see Bernita. Oh, you have the car today. Where are you going to go? Hi. 180? That just seems... I've done them for, for New Year's Eve before. Mm. Sounds kind of, I'm too ADD for that. Okay, we will, we'll figure it out. I'll call, when I get to Grace's, we'll call you. I'll bring my plant. Um, I could do it. I mean, I could do it. I think there are other things to meditate. Hey, David. David Mahler in the house. Elspeth's birthday yesterday. I did a little song for her. Did you do 180 for the solstice? I commend you if you did. Hi, Lynn Venucci. Wow, you're going to cruise all over the place. Pier 1, I was there yesterday. Nothing's really changed sale-wise. Some things are 10% off, some things are 30% off, some things are 40% off, and then there's broken stuff. There was a table there I was really thinking about buying, but didn't do it. Well, maybe we could 
we could rendezvous with the post office or we could meet at Lions Park or something. So let me know when you're out and about. Yeah, it's, it just seems like, yeah, down, up, and down, around, up, down, up, around, up, down, 180 times. Yeah. I would do, like, a, I mean, I've done full moon yoga where we've done practices for four hours, that kind of thing. Anyway, Virginia, we will see you. Bernita, we will see you. Jeff, wish we could see you. Um, that's the other thing. I'm doing a testing today for one of my other Zoom concerts. You guys, I'm doing Zoom house concerts. Okay, call me. Call me, call me. Everyone's going to call today. I better, I better turn on my phone. <laughs> People go, I tried calling you, and it went straight to voicemail, and your voicemail was full. And I go, mm-hmm, and it just fills up really fast. Hi, Kelly. I can't help it. It just, I think it's 108. Yeah. I didn't. Oh, what was I going to ask you about last night? Something about, well, maybe it was about snakes or something. We were on with Bo, with Mo, Big Mo, and there was a question. He's like, I wonder if, and I go, if my friend Jeff Metzger were here, he would like ha have Googled it and already been, there was the answer. So, yeah, 108. I wasn't going to correct you. I was just going to let you, I was going to let you get to that place. Say hi to the hummingbirds. Yeah, so Zoom. So you guys... Gather your friends together, and, and Tom and I will do a Zoom concert for you. It's really fun. Maybe Larry Kohut and I will do a Zoom concert for you. Larry Kohut, if you're still there, let's play some music. Incredible bass player. Probably the busiest bass player that I ever performed with. Be like, hey, Larry, you want to play Friday? Well, I have a gig at 9 in the morning, and then I have one at 2.15, and then I have one at 4.30, and then I have one at 7. What time's your gig? Ten. Cool, I can make it. Oh, hey. I am coming up with it. I, I'm writing a song right now. It's a lot of traffic. See, when I first started this, there was no traffic. Now it's like whoosh, 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 whoosh. Between that and the birds and the waves, lots of good waves. Because it's been a little bit windy, a tad windy. Oh, yeah, there's. So I could not get into the Apple Store Genius Bar until July 1st. I was on hold yesterday for about 48 minutes, I think. July 1st. What you think is a long time from now, but it's not. One week from today. Boom. July. Maybe we could do 108. We could do something, Jeff. I mean, I'd be down to do a, a you know, a committed class with people if you want. Just more movement. And so Virginia could do it. Jeff would still want to do it. Lance Fowler would want to do it. When are we going for a ride in your car, in your vet? Little. I know it's not red. Okay. Tonight, Coquelicot. Tomorrow night, Corona Roki. Friday night, maybe you. Saturday night, Melanie Damore. Sunday night, Don Braden. Don Braden. Who's Don Braden? Who's Don? Guys, horn player. Gina Melita in the house. Hello, beautiful. I have something in my... Oh, I have so many greens in my fridge. Oh, you know what I do have? Big old handful. I was thinking a little bit of pesto. 
But, Gina, you feel like getting on? Getting on the camera? I'll bring you, I'll, I'll invite, hi, Paul. Hey, let's see if you'll answer me. Garlic. Bye. See you, Jeff. He's so beautiful. Yeah, I was thinking pesto, but I just love looking at him. I was thinking if I just let them, she's not going to. Come on, Gina Marita. Yeah! <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm not prepared for this. Neither am I. Neither am I. Uh, well, that's a lie. You're always prepared for this. All I need, All I need you to do is your volume. All right, let me get my earbuds. One second. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they beautiful? The biggest, the biggest reason, reason I worry is Lord. I like hearing my voice. Ooh. Hi, Jim Chang. Okay. No Jim okay. Chang, Denise, Gina just got on. Everybody's here now. It's a party. <laughs> yeah, beautiful garlic scapes you have there. Very nice. They're good grilled. Treat them like cebollitas. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. A little olive oil, salt, pepper. Put them on the grill. Delicious. Indeed. What if I don't have a grill? Um, buy one. <laughs> I have, I a, I have a pan. I have a grill pan. Yeah, a grill pan works great. Or even if you don't have one of those, you could just do um, a cast iron skillet. Get it nice and hot. Do a little, like just a little olive oil on the garlic scape, not in the pan, and then just kind of dry, dry do it. Or under a broiler, if you have a broiler capacity in your oven. Very good. I love them. Oh, they're wonderful. They're so beautiful. I was mm -hmm. going to make pesto. Sure. Yeah. But I think grilling them because then I could eat them for lunch. Exactly. Right. Exactly. But you they could do just... a little bit of both. Yeah, I have enough. I had a, I had more. I eat them. That's a lot. Right That's and I chop lot. them up in my salad. And mm -hmm. my yeah. friend, my friend Rosie grew them in her Zen farm at her Zen nice. farm. Very nice. How yeah. are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Um, you know, not a lot going on. There's some thunderstorms here in the great city of New, of New Orleans, and so kind of laying low. Not much, not much going on today. What are you so, making for food? Uh, I haven't eaten yet today, so oh. coffee. I'm having some coffee for food. Um, She's eating her some, coffee. I'm eating coffee, yes. It's a really nice hazelnut, light roast hazelnut. I don't, I've discovered that I don't like dark roast coffee. I know that that makes me some kind of a wimp. It's fine. I got away from coffee for a long time. I'm just, I might have a cup a week now. Yeah. Um, but it, sometimes uh, the dark roast is just too much for my system. It gives me uh, like gastric distress. Oh, um, yeah. So I mostly tea, but um, I decided on some coffee today. It's just kind of dark and drizzly out and it seemed like the right thing to do. So I haven't eaten yet, though um, uh, what I did, did make something for my son he, his new favorite thing to eat is I take pita and I cut it in half and I toast it. And then, this is a breakfast item, and then I spread a thin layer of hummus on it and then uh, f uh, fry an egg, cook two eggs. Um, I kind of break the yolk a little bit so that it, the yolk flattens out and um, do them kind of over medium. And then put that on top of the hummus with some avocado slices and chimichurri. Sucks having a chef as a mom, I know, right? Because that dude is Jimmy spoiled. Cherry. Just Jimmy Cherry. It, it's so easy to make. I showed him how to make it. It's like parsley, oregano, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, and um, red vin red wine vinegar. And, parsley um, or oregano? Because I've made my own. Mostly not. parsley. Mostly parsley. parsley. And um, something that I learned this year that I didn't know is that you can use dry parsley and dry oregano as long as it's really fresh dry. You know, either you dry it yourself or you can buy high quality dried. Um, and it actually, the flavor is really unique, but it needs to sit on the vinegar and oil for about 24 hours or it tastes kind of dry. Uh, it, it, the difference is, and people, a lot of people, especially chefs, we put our noses up at anything dried herb. 
But what I've discovered is a lot of things when you dry them, it's, it just changes its qualities. Uh, it's no longer like the fresh. Like think of a, a, a fresh grape versus a raisin. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with raisins. There's nothing wrong with grapes. They're just different. Mm -hmm. uh, so using dried parsley and dried oregano. Now you want to use very little oregano, mostly parsley. Otherwise it's too much. It should be just nice and fragrant. Uh, and it's so easy to make. So if you have some nice dry parsley, dry oregano, you don't have to worry about making it to the farmer's market, finding these fresh herbs, spending a million dollars at the grocery store on little teeny packs. You, know, you can just buy it. Um, and it's really, really good. It's really, really good. <laughs> I, have, I have both in my garden. Awesome. Even better. I, do, you I, put, do you ever put cilantro in just for a little pop? Sure. I mean, why not? You know, it's sort of like, sort of like salsa verde. You know, if you read Judy Rogers, um, a Zuni Cafe cookbook, she talks about salsa verde. It's like anything green, just, you know, put it in there. There are certain herbs that work better than others. They should be sort of softer herbs, you know, not rosemary and, you know, heavy, heavy herbs, but like just the soft, pretty green herbs, throw it in there. Um, yeah, I, I read her stuff all the time. It just re-inspires me. You, yeah. I mean, when you say Zuni, my, my heart goes bitter. No. <laughs> that would be fun one day. We could meet in the Bay Area and go have dinner at Zuni. Girl, I am so down. I haven't been to the Bay Area since 1996. Well, then. I know. It's been a little while. It's changed a little bit. We won't want to spend much time in San Francisco. We go into the city. We go to Zuni. We walk in the mission for 10 minutes, and then we're out of there. Cause it's, right. It's not Doesn't the same San Francisco. I'm sure it's, it's not, not anywhere near the same San Francisco. I mean, that was a few years ago, right? I, I lived there. I left, I stopped living. I, I think, no, it might have been 95. I don't even know. I mean, I, it could have been 95 or 96, but so much. I mean, there was no internet, no dot com, no Silicon Valley. No, yeah, <laughs> I mean, dude, free, everything. Free, free, everything. So I have a bunch of kale, and I've already made oh. kale chips, and I've already mm -hmm. sauteed my kale, and I've massaged enough of it. I mean, she gave me this whole huge that right. okay what's right. the last thing i do with my last there's so much you can do but one of the things i really like to do because i can't help it i live in the south and now i have the majority of my life um i love to make greens um greens like southern greens um and what i discovered the other day when i was um making some brisket it was father's day i was cooking for my husband i just wanted to do some nice traditional stuff and i i got looking at um donald link's cookbook, uh, True Cajun. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's a great chef here in New Orleans. He has Cochon and like a million okay. other restaurants. Um, you know, Pat he, and he's also a really great. super cool dude. He's like, you know, you see him with his kids with this, on the field with a soccer game and his wife's awesome. You know, it's just, he's just like a really nice guy, uh, which is always nice. Chefs that are successful, that are actually good right. people. Like musicians, hey. like when you, you yeah. know, musicians yeah. are movie stars and you meet them and they're like, and they're actually just they're down actually to earth. A really nice person. Yeah. Right. Well, what I realized is reading about his sides, side dishes that he does is I, everything that he does is exactly how I do stuff, whether it's okra and tomatoes, southern greens, um, black eyed peas, lima beans. It's weird. I read, I'm reading his cookbook. I'm like, that is exactly how I do it. And like, I didn't get these things out of a cookbook. I just would maybe try something and say, hmm, I would do it this way. And then I would do it. And I might try something else and be like, mm, I don't like that. It's too sweet or it's too vinegary. It's too cooked. And then I, I'm reading. And so I just develop these techniques myself. Wait. And it turns out they're like exactly the same, like everything. And I thought, wow, damn Skippy. I'm doing Y'all something right. Hate. Yeah. You know, cause he's, he's the real deal. I mean, <laughs> I'm a transplant. I'm from upstate New York, You're the real deal. but he's, well, I'm not the real deal, like born and raised in this. I didn't grow up eating this stuff is what I'm saying. It wasn't like my, my Mima was making me you know, stuff wasn't that kind of party. My, my grandmother was Italian and the other one didn't really cook. She put, she was a, she was, you know, English. She burned toast. You know what I mean? It was, um, sorry. <laughs> sorry to all my limey friends out there. Uh, but, but you know, it's true. So anyway, uh, I forget where I was going with this. Oh, greens. I would cook them like greens, like, um, you know, cook down some onions and some garlic and some you may not eat meat, but if you do, bacon fat, um, and if not, you know, pff, olive oil. Uh, put in a little bit of um, uh, uh, pork product or fake pork product or whatever you like. Smoked paprika if you're not eating. I the, love uh, smoked paprika. Oh, yeah, because you can use it, and it's, you know, for anyone who doesn't have smoked meat products, it gives you that smokiness, that richness, that savory quality. 
and then put in a little bit of tomato product, a little bit of tomatoes chopped up, cook those all the way down and add your greens that have, that have been cooked. Uh, I mean, that have been washed and soaked and add those and a little vinegar, a little sprinkle of sugar, not a lot, but you got to have it and then cover it up and let it cook. I wouldn't cook it for the three or four hours that oftentimes, you know, your, your Southern yeah. people will at, tell you to, but until it's just tender and, um, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love that. You know, I love it. Well, I have it's a big old bag. I, I literally had this, like she handed me four bags of wow. all different kinds of greens. And you can also make uh, gumbo zerbs, which is, uh, it's a traditional Lenten gumbo that doesn't use, well, Lenten, they just use like uh, pork bone in it instead of the actual flesh. But if, again, you can use whatever you want. But it's a, it's a, it's not made with a roux, so it's a, it's more like a soup. But it is gumbo zarebs or gum, greens gumbo. Hmm. Um, you can make that with. It's traditionally it's made with a bunch of different types of greens like cabbage, kale, mustards, collards, um, whatever you got really. And uh, it's it, it's really delicious. You could look it up and see how to make that there's some good recipes for it out there there's not one way to make it just like gumbo so i'm not even going to try to tell you <laughs> but look it's a beautiful soup and um good. yeah really nice that yeah. oh it's great i'm 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 a big fan well i'm gonna grill my skates nice i do i have a, a double grill pan so awesome. i'll put on that and have a party and my my place will smell so good it they're will. just so lovely I'm a little jealous i know if I could send you some, I would. I know. I'll, I should be able to find some of those. There's one thing we can actually grow here is garlic. There's very few crops that work out well in New Orleans. It's just too hot and wet. Um, but garlic is something. Sweet potatoes, garlic, okra. I do not. Um, I had a really great garden in Atlanta when I owned my home. But here, it's it's different. I don't. It's not my, my grounds. And the gardeners come in, and they just they break stuff. And then... Uh, I mean, my, my landlord hires like the cheapest people. They mow grass, they, they cut up, they, they cut out a couple of nice azalea bushes and the, what's that other one that they, they just, and also I have chickens now. Right. So the chickens would just eat whatever. It's just, it's not working. <laughs> not here. And everything's too hot. I just, I mean, people hot do it, but I don't, I don't know. Peppers, tomatoes, they grow here, but eh, not really. Not. Is, are things opening up? Like they are fast. in Michigan? Yeah. Though so the, um, the governor did just push back phase three until the end of July because cases are on the rise. So uh, the governor is cautious, thank God. Our mayor has been cautious, thank God. Um, so we haven't, it hasn't been the dire circumstances that, like what's happening in Houston and across Arizona, uh, which is funny because on the trip we just took, we were in, Arizona, New Mexico, and in Houston for a couple of days. So uh, we kind of like outrunning it. <laughs> I feel a little bit like a, like, you know, tornado <laughs> watcher. You know, any one of those people that chases tornadoes, like ah, we get away. Um, though they're going in the opposite direction. Whatever. Bad yeah. analogy. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I hear you. Have you heard any more on school? No. Uh, apparently, the archdiocese that I work at a Catholic school, so the archdiocese has a say in what's happening. Um, they are having a meeting at the end of this week to discuss strategies, uh, though it will be ultimately up to each individual school. Like my husband works at a, at a Catholic school as well. And they're having summer camp right now. He's there cooking wow, for them right now. Having a summer camp. Yeah, they've got over 50 really? campers and probably 20 to 30 staff members. Uh, but my school decided not to. We are not having a summer camp this year. So um, that's why I'm home. Otherwise, I'd be there cooking for them as well. So each individual school kind of gauges its, its um, what, what it does. Uh, his school is a little bit more, um, de uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I, I don't know. But the school I'm working, the school I work at is very progressive and they're very, um, kind of on the cutting edge of they're they're just being overly cautious in a way they believe the science and the other school might be a little more like whatever god will take care of us so you know we'll see how that works out yeah. <laughs> well there. i'm so happy that you agreed to, to split i'm so not prepared i'm like oh my god i'm sitting on my bed i'm checking my email my alarm went off it was like jenna's alive i'm like oh, I'll check in. here i am on camera Thank not you. ready Thank you, thank, you, thank you for the skates. Idea. Oh yeah, 
Absolutely. Anytime. You know, I'm full of ideas. I could make. They're so beautiful. They're like mystery. You could take a million photographs of them. They're just, the way they grow is, it's beautiful. It's like modern dance. I'm going to take some photos before I cook them. Do it. All right. I'll talk to you later. Love you, sweetie. Bye, everybody. Take care. Dina Melita. That's me. And I was going to say goodbye minutes ago, many minutes ago. I'm so glad I did not. Tonight, again, Coquelicot. Tomorrow night, Corona Roki. Come on, sign up. It's going to happen. Corona Roki. La, 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 la. Corona Roki International Limited. Y'all have a beautiful day. I'm going to go grill some skates and probably make more kale chips. I eat them like. Love hearts.